hi guys welcome to my channel welcome back this is a day in my life on a cherry caribbean kitchen here it is my custard bread pudding my mom's recipe this is what she made for us when i was younger this is my story about my bread pudding it's golden brown to the top this is my daily vlog isn't it beautiful? It's a delicious dessert. Welcome to my cooking, sharing my recipes, my family recipes and traditions with you all. Let's get cooking or baking. This is cut up cubes of bread. It's one loaf of sliced white bread. You're going to cut them up or you can use the cinnamon raisin one. It already has that cinnamon flavor and the raisins. Here I have butter, spices, nutmeg, and cinnamon. I have cherries, raisins, nutmeg, uh, sorry, mixed peel. I have milk, evaporated milk, condensed milk. Let's get started. All the measurements are up. You can pause and write down the recipe. Adding your milk to the bowl, your evaporated milk, your condensed milk, my melted butter, my custard powder, and my coconut powder, the coconut powder is optional. It just gives it that extra flavor. All the spices, the cinnamon, the nut and meg, and the vanilla essence goes in. You can use whatever flavor you like, but the vanilla pairs well with the nutmeg and cinnamon. Give it a whisk. Adding in most of my raisins and cherries, just leaving a few for the top at the end. Whisk it again. This is the custard powder that I used. It's one tablespoon. You can use an egg if you like, but I kept it at a vegan prospect. That's the coconut milk that I used. The nutmeg and the cinnamon. Those are the spices. That's the vanilla. Let's continue. You're going to pour this spiced custard over the cubes of bread and let it soak in. Give it a mix and let it soak in all of that liquid, that spiced liquid. It smells nice. It's like spice or spice and nice. And just give it, um, let it rest. Give it about five minutes. It will suck in all of that liquid then you're going to empty it into a buttered pan this is a 9 by 13 pan and you're going to spread it out with your spatula or whatever if it's a spoon you're using then you're going to pour your third cup of evaporated milk over the top decorated with the rest of our remaining cherries and mixed peel and raisins on the top and you're going to bake this into your oven at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes or 35 to 45 minutes depending on your oven or until a nice golden brown color to the top it will smell nice when it's finished it will smell like spice once it doesn't have too much of liquid when you're checking it it's done it's not too sweet, so it goes well with a nice vanilla ice cream or coconut ice cream. Thanks for watching.